you who knows, I don't know. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I thought I would give you a couple of the tips that I personally use in order to read more books. I enjoy watching these videos, so I thought, why don't I make one, because I didn't know what to film today, so felt like I could do this without having to uh, think too hard. Without further ado, let us get started. Wow. So my first tip is to always have a book with you, whether it is in your backpack or whatever purse or bag you are carrying. Having the book with you at all times allows you to read when you're in between classes or on your way to work or school. I find that if I have the book in my bag, I usually want to pick it up because I know it's there. And if I forget it's there, if I'm going through my bag and I see it there, it makes me want to read it later on. I find that since you're only reading like one or two or like a couple pages at a time, it gets you hooked on the story and you really want to get into the book afterwards because you're reading such short bursts of it. My second tip and the one that I'm like living by lately is to listen to audiobooks. They are the most amazing things that I have ever discovered. I'm obsessed with them. I recently started in February listening to them because I got a concussion and I wasn't allowed to actually physically read books so I figured that that was an easy way to still get some reading. Reading. Done. I personally use the Overdrive app on my phone which allows you to take audiobooks out from your library but there's also like Audible which I'm sure everybody has heard of because like every single YouTuber is sponsored by them so you could also use that but I find it super easy because while I'm walking to class or while I'm doing like cooking dinner or something like that I can just put in a book and listen to it and it goes a lot faster than having to sit there and actually read the words because you can't really multitask when you're reading you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so it's an easy way to like read while still being really busy with life things my third tip is to set a time for reading usually I read before I go to bed because I just find it easier to relax and I find it a lot easier to fall asleep if I read before bed instead of like playing on my phone or something like that so if you were to set a specific time during the day, it kind of gets you into a routine. My fourth tip would be to reread a series you love or a book that you love. I know a lot of people use Harry Potter for this. I still have not read Harry Potter, so I can't, you know, say that. I know that this helps a lot of people out. I feel like if you were to reread a book that you loved or a series that you loved, it would help you, like, re-spark the love you have for reading, especially if you're in a reading slump or you just don't know what you want to read, I feel like that could really pick up your spirits and you know make you want to read again. My fifth tip is to join a book club or a read along. I feel that if you're depending on somebody else while reading, it makes you want to read more. Sometimes I feel that you know I'm reading and I just don't want to be reading, but if I have to rely on somebody else and I know that I'm supposed to finish this book by you know, whatever date. Having someone else, you know, being there with you while you're reading, it really helps push you to read more and get the book done. Number six would be if you don't want to read, then don't read. I feel like sometimes I force myself to read and I'm like, you know, like I need to get eight books done this month because that's my goal, but then at times I'm like, you know what, I don't want to be reading right now. Like I literally want to be doing anything else. So my tip would be do anything else and usually that gets me wanting to read more because then I start thinking about the book that I was reading and I'm like hmm, you know like I want to know what happens and I've been not reading for a while so why not try to keep the book again and usually that makes me read more. And my seventh and final tip would be if you're reading a book and you're not enjoying it put the book down and try something else. I know that I preach that I don't DNF books because I always have this faith that it's gonna get better but a lot of people don't have that same mentality when they're reading, and if you're not enjoying the book, then don't force yourself to read it. Just go and pick a different book, because you're probably going to enjoy it more, and then you're going to want to read more, because you're actually enjoying what you're reading. Alright guys, so that was my 7 tips on how to read more. Or, I don't know if it's going to help you, but I just thought that, you know, I would do something different than a tag, because that's like all I do. If you guys have any other tips you want to share with each other, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I would love to know them. Because, you know, who doesn't like reading more? I will see all of you guys in my next video. Goodbye!